Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name is Angelica. I'm sharing my healthy weight loss wellness journey online and I'm just trying to glow up. Today I'm going to show you what I'm eating in a day to help me lose weight. I'm on the iTrack Bites Better Balance program, which is really similar, basically the same thing as WW Blue. So I'm ready for breakfast. Let's go ahead and get into that. For breakfast today, I'm going to do French toast. I'm using the Sara Lee Delightful 45 calorie bread. Pretty sure this is my new favorite bread. If you haven't tried it yet, definitely recommend you pick it up. I'm going to start out with just cracking two eggs. Um, sometimes I have to do three. I might have to do um, another one or two. Haven't made this in so long that I forget, but I feel like it doesn't take a lot. I'm gonna add a little splash of milk. This is normal 2% milk, but when I have it, I like to do almond milk instead. I always like to add a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon is like a superfood, so good for you. And then I will add like half a packet of sweet and low. I don't know where my cute whisk is, so I'm using this one from my mixer. <laughs> Here is my five bite breakfast, which I am so excited for. So the two slices of bread is one bite each, so two bites for the bread. <coughs> Cooper's playing in the background. <laughs> There is one bite of sugar-free syrup on here, the Great Value brand. I counted one teaspoon of powdered sugar, but it was definitely less. But I figured the little amount I used combined with the little sprinkles, because it is St. Patrick's Day, would add up to that amount. So, one bite for that. I counted one bite for an eighth a cup of milk. Um, so, to account for a little bit of the milk that I added. And then two teaspoons of Cool Whip is zero bites. It's sugar-free Cool Whip. So there's a look at my breakfast. So ready to get into it. I am so hungry right now. Every time I make French toast, I wonder why I don't make it more often. But there you go. I will see you guys at lunch. So lunch today is this pizza, which is not the two ingredient dough. This is the Busy Kitchen Skinny Pizza Dough. And I just took it out of the oven. I'm so shook by how much it is like a normal pizza. I um, think it's going to be super good. I just put this in my meal prep video for the week. So if you haven't already, go and check that out. And I'll show you how I made it and everything. And the beautiful part is I still have three pieces of dough left, which is like one pizza each. Like... This used to be that. Isn't that crazy? This is 11 bites for the pizza. I will say it's not as big as my normal two ingredient dough pizzas can come out to be for the same amount of points, but I think it's going to be better because it's thicker, it's crispier, and I think it's going to taste more like just normal pizza dough. Um, but I put a third a cup of this cheese on it, two teaspoons of these bacon bits, which are the best. Some red onion, fourth a cup of Prego traditional because I can't find the lot anywhere. And I put some little pieces of spinach in there. You know, I'll always sneak that in if I can. And here is my tracker for that. I'm so excited. I'm 100% going to update you on how this tastes. Mm. This is a game changer, and yes, I'm going to eat the whole pizza just like this. All right, it is that time of day when I'm ready for a snack. I'm having kind of a big snack today. Um, I just have room for it, you know, I'm feeling it, so we're going to do it. I have seven of these reduced fat club crackers, which are so good, for three bites. And then I have a laughing cow cheese, which broke in half on me. I've never had that happen. For one bite, it's the laughing cow light. I've got an apple, well, most of an apple. I always give Cooper a couple pieces, like one now, and then I put one in the freezer because he loves them that way. At least I think he does. I mean, he hasn't told me himself, but. And then I have one tablespoon of regular peanut butter. This snack hits so hard. It is so good. I need to go and edit some other videos for you guys, and I always like to have something to snack on. Here we have it, and there is my tracker. Also, I cannot find these crackers at Walmart at all. I can only find them at, Wal at, at Walmart. Oh my gosh, I can only find them at 
Kroger. So if you're looking for them, go look at your Kroger. All right, I just got back from my activity for the day, which was a line dancing class, and there was some karaoke after. So you already know I had to do some of that. But it is super late. I am really, really hungry. I haven't eaten since I had that snack at like three o'clock. And I have some salsa chicken that I meal prepped this week. So I think I'm gonna try to make like a Fritos burrito type situation since Taco Bell doesn't sell those anymore. And we're gonna see how that goes. I decided to go with the grilled cheese burrito that they had instead of the Fritos one. So the outside is like covered in melted kind of burnt cheese. That is totally my jam. So I took um, an eighth a cup of the Velveeta shredded Fiesta cheese. I put it on a pan, I let it burn a little bit, put my tortilla on top, put my salsa chicken mix in the middle. And then I put some Fritos corn chips. I counted out 22 and I ate the extra for this many bites. And then in the middle, I put my two tablespoons of the Tostitos um, queso blanco dip. So all together, this big burrito is six bites. I really hope it's gonna be good. I think anything would be good to me at this point. That is how hungry I am. I think this is gonna be the last thing I'm eating today. But if not, I will check back with you. I have three bites left. Um, and I also need to add in some activity from the workout today. But this is where we're at. This looks absolutely amazing.